what is the difference between a foul tip and a foul ball? How would you rule on this play and why? A lot of the uh, Red Sox games you guys have done with the Yankees. What is it with Hanley Ramirez in the helmet? <laughs> Well, you know, he's, he's he's got a lot of salad going on right now. He's got a lot going on underneath there. And when he lets it rip, he lets it rip. So there's a lot of force coming. Just kind of pops off kind of his thing right now. Right. Osmond was trying to sell the idea that he caught that ball cleanly. No oh, good sell. Excellent sell. Too many too many cameras though now. Oh look at the sell back there by JR. Wait, wait. That should count actually as a catch. I thought it actually That's dropped and hit the ground. That counts. Ball never hit the Play. ground. Never hit the ground. <laughs> it should have been a strikeout. Well, there you go. There's your strikeout. Was this one a foul ball or foul tip? The answer is foul ball, and I'll explain why after these next two clips. That one caught Molina. If the ball did or the back, it's a strikeout. He held on to the ball, and I'm not sure how he caught this baseball. Here is another example. Would this one be a foul ball? or a foul tip? The answer, foul tip. But wait, weren't they both the same thing? Before we answer that, here is one more uploaded by Close Call Sports. It's again Yadier Molina, and the umpire explaining to the manager why he made the call he did. So the umpire said that in Molina's case, the ball did hit the glove first, then was caught in the leg. Let's go back to the Little League World Series example. Notice the umpire comes out and signals to his two corner umpires. And when he lets it rip, he lets it rip. So there's a lot of force coming. Just kind of pops off kind of his thing right now. Right. The third base umpire is adamant. It's down, it's down. It went off his body first. You can hear this in the video. Here is the pertinent rule. A foul tip is a batted ball that goes sharp and direct from the bat to the catcher's hands and is legally caught. It is not a foul tip unless caught, and any foul tip that is caught is a strike and the ball is in play. It is not a catch if it is a rebound unless the ball has first touched the catcher's glove or hand. A foul tip requires the batted ball A, go sharply and directly from the bat to the catcher's hands, B, touches the catcher's hands, mitt, or glove, and C, be legally caught. Without all criteria satisfied, it becomes a foul ball.